This video is presented by the Mont Hill Golf and Country Club, a proud supporter of the Caledonia Corvairs. Mont Hill is one of the premier golf destinations in Ontario, providing members and public guests with an exceptional experience both on and off the course. Book your special event this winter at Mont Hill or check out their three state-of-the-art golf simulators and start preparing for the spring. Learn more by calling 905-765-4340 or visit Mont Hill. Hill.ca. Let's head to the Haldeman County Caledonia Center for the Caledonia Corvairs. The Corvairs holding on to first spot in the horseshoe, looking to ride in the playoffs at full steam and pick up another win on Wednesday. The Corvairs will play host to the Port Colburn Sailors. Jumping into the first period, the Sailors on the power play and they strike first in this one. Jacob Raposo quick release shot and Raposo's got the opener. That's his third of the season and it's 1-0 Sailors. Later in the period, their Corvairs on a power play of their own looking to answer back. It's a good setup for Marcus Dempewolf. He goes for the backhand. Isaac Gravel makes a great stop. And we would head to the second, 1-0 Sailors. Into the second now, and it's a good bounce for Andrew Kennedy. He's in alone, but he's stopped by Davis Penner, and it stays 1-0 Port Colburn. The Corvairs netminder keeping it a one-goal game, and Caledonia would help him out moments later. Tyler Savard spots out Braden Russell, and Russell equalizes. That goal makes it 1-1, but the Corvairs were just getting started. A few minutes later, and it's more from Caledonia. Clark Dunford bears down on the power play and slams it home, and the Corvairs take the lead. 2-1 Corvairs now, and later in the period, it's more from the Caledonia power play. Steve Laforme finds the back of the net with a quick shot from the point, and it's 3-1 Caledonia. The Sailors down by a pair, and they get a chance to cut into that lead. PJ Alexander is hooked down on the breakaway, and the referees say penalty shot. PJ injured on the play, so it's Gabriel Terrozo stepping up to take it. Terrozo floats in on net and goes to the backhand. Davis Penner denies Terrozo with a beauty blocker stop. A good stop from the Corvair's goaltender, but the Sailors would keep pressing, and it's Liam Wilson finding a bounce. His shot finds its way through, and the Sailors are back within one. 30 seconds later, however, and it's Caledonia answering. Jaden Lamel spots out Marcus Dempelwolf. That's his 28th of the season, and it's 4-2 Corvairs heading to the third. Into the third now, and the Corvairs would add another. Steve Laforme picks up his second of the night with a quick move out front, and it's 5-2. Later in the frame, and look up for the train in the neutral zone. Sammy Douglas runs over his man with a massive check. Late in the third now, and the Corvairs would pot a couple more. Evan Braddix finds the tip out front, and it's six for Caledonia. And less than a minute after that, it's Clark Dunford on the one-on-one -on -one with a toe drag beauty. And the Corvairs are up 7-2. Taze Deschamps would get one back for the Sailors, but as time expires, the Caledonia Corvairs cruise to another win. The Corvairs now on an eight-game winning streak, looking good on home ice as they take it over the Sailors. This one ending with a final score of 7-3 on Wednesday night.